Hey everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Cyclone TCP library. This library offers a smoother experience compared to LWIP. Let's open its GitHub page and CMSS pack repository. Click on the PDSC file and select Open as raw file. Copy the address and open CubeMX. Click on the Install Remove button. Click on From URL and then New. Paste the link, then check and click OK. Now, the library should be installed. After that, create a new project. I am using the Nucleo H743 board. All configurations for Ethernet and GPIO are already set by default. No need to make changes. I've adjusted the clock to its maximum. I've corrected the error in the RCC after adjusting the clock. In this project, I'm utilizing Freertus, so the time base source needs to be changed to a timer. I've selected the latest one available. I've enabled the debug feature. And now, I've selected Freertus version 1. Some features need to be adjusted in Freertus. First, increase the heap size. And enable these two. Now, I'm adding the Cyclone TCP library. These are mandatory for the project. You've selected an RTOS to use. Here, you need to add any protocol you require. And here, you have to configure the hardware. Configuration is completed now. Just need to enable it in the project. Set a name and generate the project. Oh, I received a warning. I missed enabling a setting in Freertus. That is it. As you can see, the library has been added to the project. We just need to make some configurations. I need to define the selected RTOS manually.
I'm compiling step by step to see what's happening and to solve any problems that occurred. There is an error. This function should be commented out because it already exists in the freertos file. The error has disappeared now. Now, I want to add useArt debug to view the output. Now, I want to test the useArt and printf functions. It works well. Now, go to the CubeMX repository on your computer and open the Cyclone TCP folder. In the demo, you can explore all the examples for various boards and protocols. I want to use the HTTP client. There are two files we need. First, copy this function from debug.c. and paste it into the project. It needs some headers to compile. Open appmain.c and copy the headers from there. Now, it has been compiled. As you can see, there are hardware configuration files. They depend on your board, and you can find all the files in the folder. Now, copy other necessary defines and variables. This is the HTTP test function. Copy and paste it into the project. Now, we need to initialize functions. Copy everything inside the init task function and paste it into the project. Now, you can delete unnecessary sections.
I received some errors. Let's check to see what's happening. Oh, it seems I forgot to enable MDNS. That's it. Compile again. Oh, two errors still exist. After generating project by CubeMX, it should be commented out again. All errors are gone. For enabling debug in this library, you should open netconfig.h. I have enabled some debug features. I'm programming now to see the result. Oh, it's stuck after a second. It was my mistake, I forgot to increase the stack size of the task. Yes, it's working now. There's a lot of data for DHCP and so on. Now, I want to disable unnecessary debugs. I need a function to wait for DHCP to obtain the IP. I can create it by reading the state of DHCP.
Now, I want to add printing the IP. Let's check the result. That's it. The IP is printed. Now, I want to test by pinging. It works well. The latest step is opening the page via the HTTP protocol. The function was ready before. We should only call it. That's it. The page is opened, and all data is printed. Please support me on YouTube and other social media platforms. Thank you.